Experts distinguish guilt from shame. Guilt says, I feel bad because of what I've done. Shame says, I am bad. Guilt is normal when I've done something wrong. It helps people be civilized in their behavior. Guilt is resolved by apologizing and making things right with other people or with God. 1 John 1 9 says, if we confess our sins, he is faithful and righteous to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Shame, however, is probably never healthy. A person who grows up with lots of criticism, shaming, or guilt for normal mistakes is more likely to have trouble with self-acceptance. Some people then rebel completely against God, are drawn to religious groups that are excessively strict and authoritarian, like cults, for example, or have trouble accepting forgiveness. Toxic guilt or shame is perpetuated sometimes by churches who are heavy on rules and heavy on duty or religion, but too light on extending grace. Only Jesus has the perfect balance of mercy and truth. Chronic guilt and shame are born out of a sense of rejection. A person grows up with the feeling from family or harsh, harsh religion that they're always wrong or bad. This attitude is tied into a distortion of God is very easy to anger. It's born out of harsh authoritarian experiences. Now much has been written on the way that we subconsciously associate the shortcomings of parents or harsh authority figures with the way that we view God or the way we think God views us. If my parents held grudges or gave me the silent treatment when I misbehaved, then I will have trouble recognizing that God is quick to forgive me. If I was rejected by a parent, sibling, or peers, then I may come to feel unworthy of love. I may resist receiving love if I've already concluded that I don't deserve to be loved. So here's a prayer you can use if you would like to address some of these concepts with God yourself. And I print a copy of it for you at the end of this video. So let's pray. I choose to forgive. Go ahead and name the person or the organization. For the criticism, demands, and lack of approval that led me to develop perfectionism and excessive demands on myself or excessive demands on others or this chronic sense of guilt or shame. I admit my sin of resentment or anger that I have carried against this person or organization. Go ahead and name it. Because of the pressure they put on me. I repent for any unhealthy pride I have taken in being a perfectionist. I repent for any ways I have placed harsh, unrealistic expectations on others. I ask you, Lord Jesus, to forgive me of my sins, to be my savior, and to take the shame, fear, anger, or any sense of rejection I have carried into your body on the cross. I ask you to forgive all my sin and help me walk in a balance of love, truth, and excellence without striving for perfectionism. I accept your forgiveness for my sins and mistakes. Only you are perfect, Lord Jesus. I choose to forgive myself. Thank you that you love and accept me, and I yield myself to you. This is Dr. Tony Cooper. Thanks for listening.